welcome to another episode on the Adults Play Minecraft server. Okay, Christmas is over with, and I've got a present here under the tree from my secret Santa. And I know there's something in the post office for me as well. So, um, it's like Dariana still hasn't picked up her gift yet either. Okay, I thought there was somebody over there. BPC's on here with me now, but I think he was in the nether. Uh, at least that's where I saw him last. So, we have a shulker box here with our name on it. And let's see what we got inside here. Ooh, we got a bunch of diamonds, some firework rockets. So somebody might have taken some. Don't matter. I'm not going to use them anyway. And some spruce leaves. Okay, well, that's uh, wonderful. Um, thank you very much, whoever my secret center was. So, let me go ahead and pick that up in the sign as well. And then uh, let's uh, go into the post office. And there is a box up here. And uh, oh, we've got some choker shells, some chests, some ender pearls, some nether quartz, some dried kelp, lapis, iron, diamond, slime. Protection 4 book and some phantom membranes and this is from Crazy Crow. Thank you Crow, it's wonderful. Wonderful things. So, anything in here? No. Okay. Anyways, and that's it for what we need to do in here as far as Christmas is concerned. I guess as soon as Dariana gets her present then uh, of course we can pack away the tree for next year. But I do want to um, run over to the wool shop real quick. I need some, some wool, or at least some carpet. Because I, I want to use some of it in the house. So let's see, what is the carpet? Um, carpet, eight stacks equals one diamond or 32 iron. Eight stacks for one diamond. I don't need that much carpet. Uh, okay, I can get some curtains. Do I need curtains? Hmm, let's see. What would, be, what would be a good color for curtains? 16 for 16 iron. Uh, let's just go ahead and get a stack of white on. 16 iron for that. That's fine. Uh, I really don't need eight stacks of carpeting. <laughs> um, which is just wool. Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you come back here? White wool, four stacks for one diamond. Uh, well, we don't have four stacks in there. Get some gray or light gray. Gray wool. Hmm, what color would look good in the house? Black. I don't want black carpeting. Brown wool. Let's see, we're covering up that top floor to cover up that stuff blue. No, I think that's too bright. These are too bright. Greens, yellow, orange, red. Oh my goodness. I want the white, but I can't get it. I don't want pink. Uh, maybe we'll go with the light gray here. Or regular gray. Four stacks for one diamond. Okay, we can do that. We put a diamond in there and I'll grab four stacks of that. Could probably divide it up, you know. A, I mean, that's not even that's not even a full stack. Okay. I, I bet she needs to change the shears out in here. Let me go check on that for her. Should be like in this one. No, that one's filled with shears. Are there any sheep left in there? Oh, yeah. Ah, I wonder why it's not picking it up. So I see the white wool floating there, but it's not getting picked up. 
Well, that sheep is gone. So is that one. Huh. Yay, bug, bugs. <laughs> Let me check the other side. It looks like they're all gone, so there's only one sheep left in the wolf farm. Okay, Dari, if you're watching, all your sheep are missing. Other than that one white one, and for some reason it's not picking up the wool um, that is trimming from him, so, which is weird. Let's double check that again. Yeah, because he's in there, but there's only like five pieces of wool in there, and I saw the wool floating in there, so. The, the mine cart, I guess, that's underneath there isn't picking these things up like it should be. All right. Well, hopefully she'll get on and get that fixed for the future. But right now we got what we need. So I'm going to head back to base and I will meet you over there. Okay, so we're back at our base. Um, I thought we'd continue a little bit of work on the house. Uh, at least get the flooring in. Uh, fix up some of these uh, floors and whatnot. So... Uh, first thing I want to do is make some carpet since I've got this here. I've got this. Uh, what is it? Two. That is probably more carpet than I will ever use in a lifetime on this server. But uh, <laughs> let's come up here to this floor and we're just going to go ahead and cover the floor with carpeting for the time being. Now I might turn this into like an enchanting room or a brewing room or something. We do already have an enchanting room, so I don't really think we need one in the house as well. And if I do, then I'll have to remove the carpet. Otherwise, it won't work cor correctly. But uh, let's go ahead and get this down, and that will cover up the stone at least. Yeah, that'll look fine there. where I wish I had like the, the chisels and bits that we got going in our um, crop block series right now. And there we go. There we go. That makes that floor look a lot better. We'll figure out something to do with this at some point. Let's go ahead and grab our bed out of here. This turn zombies. There's got to be a, a hole or something in the ground here where there's the zombies are at. So let's go ahead and put that there. Hey, JD's on. Let's say hello. Hi, JD. All right. And. There's got to be some kind of a, a hole or something under here. So anyways, um, let's um, dig up the floor here. I've got some slabs. I'm going to make some more. And then let's go ahead and put that flooring in. We'll just make it acacia to match everything else. I'm not, you know me, I'm not a huge fan of acacia, but... We're working with what we have in the area. Okay, and since this is bedrock, we can actually hide some lighting in the floor. So let's go ahead and do that. Make one here. One, two, three. In that corner. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I know I should be using shovel and not my pickaxe. <laughs> Straight across here, put my in there. Okay. Do I have torches on me? Yes, I do. There they are. Okay. 
and you want to put them on the floor. Otherwise, if you put them on the side like this, you see that smoke coming up? That'll be visible, and you don't want to see that. That's okay if you're doing something like if you want to make like a hot tub or something, and you want to see those particles through the flooring or through carpeting. But now we have the uh, um, campfire, so they, they do a little bit better job. Than these. That's how we did it in the past, was we would put some torches underneath put them on the side of the block and then you get kind of the smoke effects coming up through them half slab not full slab Could have left the dirt block there, but I didn't. And there we go. Complete flooring. I think I'm going to have to build myself a basement just to find where these guys are hiding at. Because uh, that's going to drive me crazy if I stay here any length of time. Okay, now let's think about what we want to do in here for some decorations. Um, I think it may be a couple of bookcases here by the bed. Um, maybe I'll do something like I did on... Yeah, let me see. Do I have the stuff to make three bookcases? I know I should have plenty of stuff to do it. Is it going down yet? Ah, oh, it's close. All right. I know I've got plenty of leather. Sugar cane, I can, hopefully it's grown. So I'm gonna need nine sugar, no, that's 27 if I'm gonna do what I wanna do. sugar cane is not grown <laughs> because I haven't been on I haven't been in over in this area anyways so I don't have any sugar cane do I have any in storage let me see food chest goes back uh, I have one Hello, BP. All right. Um, any paper, any books? No paper in there. Oh, there's two pieces of paper. Uh, and there's our things. I wonder if I can use those for a book. Try it. They're not needed for anything else anymore. I had a little bit of carpet and a little bit of wool in here, but not enough to do everything that I wanted to. That's bamboo. I wish I could use bamboo for paper, but you can't. Let's just sleep real quick. Come on. I might have some books down in the uh, mob farm where we have our setup, our enchanting setup. So let me go look in there real quick. In a total of nine books for what I want to do. Let's 
Let's see how many we have. What? I've got another idea what I can... Oh, i got 12, so... Okay, that's fine. What I could also do is get some of these junk books here and just uh, remove the enchantments from them and use them. But we've got enough, so... Let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple of bookshelves. Let's see. If we have any. Don't have any wood on. I got a little bit of wood, but all slabs. Let's see. Man, we'll just use that. All right. So let's see. Shelves. Okay, that looks pretty good. I need to put some potted plants or something up there. I'll figure out something better with the lighting. Probably need to make some um, of the lanterns. And we'll have to do something with this bedroom over here. Okay, I've got, I mean, let's see. Uh, we've got wool. We've got wood. And I've got it upside down. There we go. Make a gray bed. And let's see. I'll we'll put it over here. Uh, hmm. We'll do something similar. We'll make some more bookcases. I should be able to. Let me see how much carpeting do I have left on me. 23. Yeah, it kind of covers that up. I can't do anything about this here, but that covers that up. I can't do anything about that either, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's see torch up here above the bed change it out to a lantern at some point here soon yeah that's fine and maybe we'll maybe we'll make like a sitting room or something over on this side for, for the people um yeah so um i will make some more bookcases uh in between episodes and put those in there but you already know what that's going to look like to look like the smaller room over here and makes like a headboard and just kind of looks nice. All right, so kitchen. All right, what how do we want to do the kitchen? Um, hmm, so I'm wishing I had some uh, modded stuff in here so that we could do. You know, the fun stuff like we did in the other series with the, uh, with that. let's see, what refrigerator we can do. I put my iron away. Um, let's see. White. 
concrete here? Probably not. Grab a little bit of iron. Make some iron doors. Let's see, get some concrete. I think I got some white concrete over here. Yeah, I haven't done anything with the village. I need to get back in here. I need to finish up that blue house. Uh, start tearing down some of these trees. Um, actually finish this row of houses in the front. Get the next road ready to go. Maybe do something to pretty these up. Because they're not, they're not that great. But uh, let's see. White concrete. I do. I want to four pieces of white concrete yeah okay I wonder if Beefy's having connection problems or something Okay, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and put down white concrete. I want to do it that way. I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to put the refrigerator under the stairs, but if I want to do like a double wide. It won't really fit. Like fit here though. And then we got our iron doors. I don't like it there. Let me see if we can do it this way. Turn the door around. Is it like a double door? Let's see. No, I don't want you there. Did. Okay, cool. That kind of looks like a refrigerator now. What I was thinking... Hmm. Alright, let me go grab a few more things and I'll be right back with you. I got a, a couple of ideas of things I might want to try here for cabinets and whatnot. So, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I got some ideas here for my kitchen. Let's see how this is going to work out. So first thing I got is the cauldron, which I'm gonna put down here. I'm gonna use that for like a sink. Then what I was thinking about is I've got a little bit of sandstone. I had a piece of cut sandstone. And I thought that kind of looks like, you know, a countertop. So how would it look? Let me see, make it a little bit more cut sandstone if I were to do say all along this wall here oh you know what I didn't make was a stove um, that's okay we'll get to that in a moment I'll make a stove uh, okay so we need I'm gonna take this lever let's think about putting it there 
for like the faucet it's just going to be kind of a side mounted faucet instead of one so i can't really put it there because of the window um and then if we put got some oak trap doors kind of look like cabinet doors a little bit of oak wood not a huge amount Make a couple more of these yeah I'm gonna need to get like a, a furnace or something for a stove Let's see where's my axe there we go I think I'll put it there go ahead and put this trapdoor in and I could actually use barrels for uh, actual storage but I'm not too worried about this being an actual usable kitchen it's just for looks so let's see uh, let's go make a stove and then do I have let me see what I need thinking about an activator rail on top of that hopefully a place in the right direction uh let's see okay where's that make, make a furnace that kind of looks like an oven let's see what does it take to make uh let's see rail I, so detector rail is what does it take why can't you show me the recipe okay six iron a stone pressure plate and redstone we can do that so let me get some out of this one keep wanting to scroll the items in my inventory I'm spoiled with inventory tweaks uh, six iron and a piece of redstone so we're gonna have to run back over to the hidey hole a piece of rail too if that doesn't go in the right direction so let's give this a shot real quick okay six iron and a piece of redstone let's go ahead and make the Detector rail. I make six of them. And regular rails, there's six iron and a stick. So there's six iron and a stick. Okay. I don't really need them, but uh, I may just because it would get it to work right in the right direction oh it does okay I didn't need the other rails because I wanted it going sideways like that so that kind of looks like a stove top um, let's see kind of looks like a range hood I wish it it could be something other words other though than gray because um, you certainly can't I don't think I want to 
quartz. Do we have any quartz stairs left? Because right. we used some to make that over there, that white house. I know I've got a little bit of quartz. I've always been a little bit stingy with quartz because I, to me, it's not a building block. To me, it's it's more for using the redstone. Um, but um, yeah, let's see. Is there any quartz stairs left in here? I don't think so. I just got some quartz in a Christmas gift Is it from Crow. Just how organized I am, running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See, do I have any quartz in here? I do. I can just. I think it's four pieces of quartz to make a block. Yeah, and then we'll use it in the stone cutter over there to uh, get it to a stair. So I'm certainly not going to make a whole bunch of stairs for something I'm not going to use. Come on, can I sleep yet? There we go. And it's morning now. All right, let's go finish this up real quick. stone cutter because I would not want to make a whole bunch of stairs just for one of them it's a waste of quartz okay so anyways that looks like our rain should you know the thing that sucks the the smoke out of the kitchen while you're cooking so there's our kitchen all nicely laid out uh, we got some cabinets uh, some work surfaces here we got our lovely little sink which we could probably do I have a bucket yeah Oh, I do. There we go. Put some water in the sink. All right. There we go. We got our sink filled up. We got the refrigerators, which are just for looks. Um, that stove now that is actually functional since it's just a furnace um then in the upstairs we did the two bedrooms we got this one pretty much done with the uh, bookcases and the bed this one in here we put down some carpeting got the bed in i'm gonna make some more bookcases i'm just gonna have to get some books for it um and upstairs we just carpeted to cover up the seams of where there's um, stone and where there's uh, acacia slabs making the floor look funny okay well that's it for this episode um, we did a bit of a uh, work around the house we got our Christmas presents all sorted out we're getting ready for the net for the new year for 2020 is gonna be just a couple of days away for me today is uh, actually December 30th so Tomorrow's the last day of the year and then uh, into 2020 and hopefully I'll be able to get on here more often and do a little bit more um, as well as do some more work on, on my other series. 
um, get caught up there. But um, if I don't see you before then, I wish you a very happy new year. Be safe. And we'll see you then. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.